want to know so much about pictures. We want to know what they mean, what they do and how. How do they talk? What symbols do they use? What composition of those symbols and how? How do they have the power that they have? We, we want, want to know, know so, so much, much about, about pictures. pictures. What mechanisms do they have to elicit powerful responses of us consumers? From joy to tears, the highs of creation and destruction, the power to signify social status and taste. I do, I do not, not wish, wish to be a tasteful, tasteful painter. What does the black man want? What do women want? What does the picture want? We want, we want to, to know, know so much about, about pictures. pictures. Yet we have not dealt with fetishism and animism, the subjectivity of objects, the personhood of things. They have been marked with all the stigmata of personhood, marked with physical and virtual bodies. They speak to us. They present their face to us. Barely do we listen. But does the picture want? Do we really want to cure the melody of fetishism? Is a subjectivized object an incurable symptom? We want to know so much about pictures. Stuck to our magical pre-modern attitudes towards objects, we imagine haunted houses, magic masks and aging portraits. Today, I know that everything watches, that nothing goes unseen, that even wallpaper has a better memory than ours. It isn't God in his heaven that sees it all. A kitchen chair, a coat hanger, a half-filled ashtray or the wooden replica of a woman named Niobe can perfectly well serve as an unforgetting witness to every one of our acts. No modern, rational, secular person thinks that pictures deserve to be treated like persons. Would, Would you deface, deface the photograph, photograph of your mother? We may have never been modern. What does the picture want? They seem to have legs. We threw gold into a fire and the calf walked out. We, we want, want to, to know, know so, so much, much about, about pictures. pictures. The personhood of images is easy to demonstrate. The image is everything. What is there to say next? Are we supposed to smash the modern idols to expose the fetishes that enslave? The temptation is strong to answer with a resounding yes. True and false, healthy and sick, pure and impure, good and evil images. Are images the terrain on which political struggle should be waged? I do not wish to be a tasteful painter. The temptation is strong to answer the question with a resounding yes. Pornography is not just a representation of violence and degradation. It is its act. Hollywood constructs women as objects of the male gaze. The unlettered masses are manipulated by the images of media and pop culture. People of color are subject to racist visual discrimination. Art museums are hybrid forms of temples and banks displaying commodity fetishes for public rituals of veneration. Scopic regimes, regimes can, can be overturned repeatedly, yet everything remains the same. What does the picture want? If idolatry is the most dramatic form of image power in visual culture, it is remarkably ambivalent and ambiguous. If pictures are persons, then they are colored or marked persons. The question, the question what, what pictures, pictures want is inseparable from the question what women want. Money, reputation, love, beauty, fine clothes, lust and many admirers. May dire, the right to consent, the power that goes with superior strength or cunning. What, what does, does the picture want? Uncle Sam wants you. It wants to transfix you. Send you to the nearest recruiting station of a season die for the shining city on a hill. Sam Wilson addressing a herd of cattle to be slaughtered, asking them to donate their meat and blood. Sometimes, Sometimes the explicit, explicit signs of desire signify lack rather than power. power. What does the picture want? The jazz singer beseeching and pleading declarations of love for a mammy and an audience to be moved to the theater. A stable relation between figure and ground. A way of demarcating body from space, skin from clothing. The exterior of the body from its interior. What the picture awakens our desire to see is exactly what it cannot show. Give heed, all my people, to my law. Incline your ear to the words of my mouth. What, what does, does the picture, picture want? Modern art is to be understood in its negation or renunciation of direct signs of desire. The process of pictorial seduction is successful in its proportion to its indirectness. 
its seeming indifference to the beholder, its anti-theatrical absorption in its own seeming drama. The pictures get what they want by pretending to not want anything. Only, Only an, an art critic would, would argue, argue for an inherent worth in Rauschenberg's white and white paintings. The desire not to show desire is still a form of... What, what does, does the, the picture, picture want? want? Your gaze sits the side of my face, the spectator in the Medusa position, casting her violent, baleful gaze on the picture. It wants to be seen. It doesn't want to be seen. It is indifferent to being seen. The flickering of alternate readings. Viewers, left in paralysis, simultaneously caught looking as voyeurs and hailed as a Medusa whose eyes are deadly. The power of the image comes from its apparent lack of power. What does, what the, does picture the picture want? want? The painting's desire to switch places with the beholder, to transfix or polarize, turning him into an image for the gaze of the picture. The power it wants is manifested as a lack, not as possession. What doesn't the picture want? It doesn't want to be turned into language. It doesn't want to be interpreted, decoded, worshipped, smashed, exposed, demystified or enthral. It doesn't want to be granted subjectivity. We want to know so many things about the picture. What pictures want is to be asked.